So let's take a look at the example mod I've created for the UI control API. The important stuff is going to be in data, scar, wind conditions. Default.scar is just the wizard created wind condition file. And then I have a subfolder called classes and files control and color.scar. These files you won't need to import because the subclasses and controls are actually importing it for you. As you can see, we have button, icon, label, panel, status indicator. And then I also have a panel subclass called root panel. So let's go ahead and import some of these. So we'll get the button, we'll get panel, we'll get panels, root panel, that's good. And then you're going to want to add to win condition in it because uh, SCAR needs to initialize. And so this is actually, this function is actually calling anything in it after SCAR has been initialized, which is pretty important. So a root panel, we'll create one, is basically a subclass of panel that just becomes a root. So you always want one root panel, and then you want to add everything else to that root panel. So let's make a pan sub panel. And let's give it a slight location. So we'll 16 right, 16 down. And then you want to add that to the root panel. So root panel add. Oops. And let's create a button with the text button. And you always have to give it a size, any element other than panel a size. So let's do 128 wide, 64 tall. And we want to give it a callback so it'll actually do something when you click on it. So this can be an anonymous function or a global function or a local function, whatever you want. I prefer anonymous. Uh, let's make it a fatal scar error that says OMG. Then we have to add this to the parent, which is going to be panel. So now there is a root panel that has a panel that has a button. And you could move the button you could offset it inside the panel. So by default, it's going to be button so location. So that's the default location, which means it'll be at the top left of the panel that is its parent. So if you wanted to remove this here and offset the button, the button would be offset from the panel, and the panel would be at the top left of the root panel pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and save, build, and launch the game, and take a look at what this looks like. So you could also give the button an icon. I don't have any art ready at the moment for this, but text will do for now. So, as you can see here, we have a local string, localized string, and it has our button text that we put in, and then prepended that is loc, just to let you know that you're not using an actual loc string. Now, mods, as far as I know, uh, are not able to use their own custom localized strings in SCAR yet. Um, if there is a way to do that, let me know in the, the comments, but as far as I know, you're not able to, so... 
there's the button. There's no icon for it, so it's literally just the text and a set of bounds. So that's the width and the height we gave it. And let's go ahead and click on it. So as you can see, a fatal scar error was generated. And if we go into the console, it says OMG. So it works. Now let's say you did want to add an icon, and you have some icons set up already. So I copied the mod ID here in mod builder, and the second parameter, second argument, will be a string, mod icons, your mod ID, and then the icon. So let's say it's button. So that's how you could add, and then you just set this to nil. That's how you could add an icon. And if it's just like a simple button with no text burnt in, you could keep your text. So it would be drawn on top of the, the icon. So it's pretty handy. You could also do things like uh, you could hide the, the button once it's been clicked. So set the size to zero. Or you could remove it. from the panel. There's a lot of stuff you could do with the callback there. So in addition to button, there's icon, label, and status indicator. Icon is just a graphic. It can be anything. And if you lay it in a panel and then you put a button on top of that, you can create kind of a menu of your own. Uh, label is literally just text. So if you just wanted a block of text that's not a button, you can create a label. Uh, and label actually, uh, we'll take a look at it here. You can actually set uh, font size, you can set whether or not it's bolded or italicized, uh, you can set its alignment. Um, currently there are some bugs with alignment, hopefully that gets fixed by Relic. Um, so it's pretty nice to be able to create labels that aren't buttons. And then status indicator is kind of like a progress bar, which is pretty nice. Um, so this should get you started. Uh, I'll be working on the documentation over time. So right now, um, as of this video, control is the most documented. So it has most of the, the methods you'll need. And I will be adding more along the way. So if you have any questions about how to use this, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will respond as quick as I can. And if you have any ideas or better ways of doing things once you've looked at the source code. Feel free to send me a pull request on GitHub. I'll be happy to take a look at it, and if I think it's good, I'll definitely put it in. Thanks a lot, guys.